Hey everyone, this is Terry, and we're on day whatever it is. I'm not real sure. I um, completely forgot what I was going to say. The symptoms that I'm having today, forgetfulness, much more than usual. This weird feeling that it's hard to describe. It's like being a half in and half out of my body. Diarrhea again. I've already lost over four pounds, but I think that's been because I've been so nauseous. I haven't been able to eat. And I think, like I was saying yesterday, I think it's a mixture of the medication and the feeling of being thrown under the bus by someone I trusted again. Trying to think other symptoms. I had a headache all night long. It was just, it was a weird headache. It wasn't like your normal, normal headache. I was tensed up all night long. I was freezing cold and I don't know, it's not been colder. We've been having to have the fan on. I was freezing cold. Couldn't sleep. I was nauseous for two days. For three days, I guess this is the third day, I've been nauseous for three days. My psychiatrist hasn't emailed or called to see how I'm doing, which is concerning to me. I mean, that to me was like this sacred trust that he was supposed to help me. I'm not sure when he found out the pharmacist was going to refuse to refill my medication. I'm not sure when he found out, but I would think I could have gotten a phone call from the pharmacy or the doctor beforehand saying, hey, this is what's up. This is what our plan is. I think that would be much better than saying, oh, by the way, when I just have four days left, this isn't going to be refilled. And I got to wondering why I still had the medicine that I, wa I had if it wasn't refilled last month. And I think some, I've got doubles of each of my prescriptions for some reason. I, I don't know what's going on with that. But thank God, thank God, or I would be, I would be in major trouble. So, um, yeah. Let's see whatever this is. I'm going to count this as day three because the first day was, I guess, withdrawing. I don't know how to say this right. I guess withdrawing my unwavering trust in another person. It's like it's one more thing to, that tells you in your mind that there is not one person that can be trusted. That's the scary place. I'll check in with you guys tomorrow. Okay. Hey, everyone. Um, an update on whatever day this is this is friday i think and this started on tuesday when i was when everything first transpired when i was taken off a medicine i had been on for 10 years suddenly and given four days to withdraw which turns out to be one of the dangerous ones to withdraw from so i wanted to give you a little bit of an update of the symptoms that i have this morning and what i've done to counteract some of the physical symptoms I went to the dispensary and got a high CBD product, which seemed to really help with the, the achiness of my body. I had very severe, I didn't get out of bed yesterday except to go to the bathroom and my service dog helped me do that. I was very dizzy, very lightheaded. A lot of what feels like vertigo, severe diarrhea, stomach upset, this weird sensation of being half in my body and half out. I did sleep last night because along with the CBD product that I used, I did use another 111 edible that is one, one part TAC, one part THC, and one part CBD. That seemed to help me sleep really well last night. The psychological things that I'm thinking about, I'm, I'm still having panic attacks the beginnings of panic attacks and I try to breathe through them 
and it's not really helping. So yesterday I was in bed the entire day. I'm out in my backyard today with that thing wanting me to play with her, but there's no way I can play with her. If you see my yard, you have to walk down a set of stone steps to get into the flat part. I can't do that. I can't go upstairs. That's why I'm filming down where I live. I can't go upstairs because of the dizziness and the weaving and the vertigo. Um, severe headaches still. One thing I've noticed that's particularly scary to me, and I don't know why this aspect is particularly scary, is I think everyone has experienced going into the kitchen to get something and then you leave and you're not sure why you went into the kitchen. That was all day yesterday, all day today. I have thoughts and they disappear. It's, it's like there's this open window with my thoughts. I was just on the phone with, the, this may be one of the things that you're gonna see. I was just on the phone with the pharmacy. I tagged them when I put this on Twitter. They asked for my information. I tried to give it to them, but I don't know if their DMs aren't working or what, because the message was back bounce back. So uh, what I did on my Twitter accounts is I posted the side effects and what the American Ameri American the American Medical Associate sorry I've got tremors going on. Um, what the American Medical Association says about the withdrawal from Xanax and it should be done over six to twelve weeks the way it should be tapered. No idea where I was. Um, what was I talking about? Psychological side effects. Each day, I think the betrayal aspect from my doctor and from the, but you know, the pharmacist I'm more angry with. I'm very hurt by the actions of my doctor. I feel like my safety was not put first. And I feel like Rite Aid bullied him into pushing him into making the ultimate decision. And the reason I say that is because the pharmacist seemed to convey in emails that I have with my psychiatrist that he didn't want to lose his license. Okay, so here we are back in the same situation kind of my, that my son was in. And I'm trying to hold on as the world swings around me. Is people that don't have lived experience are making decisions that affect people's lives. Not only are they affecting my life, they're affecting the lives of my family. They don't know what's happening to their mom. They don't like to see what's, seeing what's going on. I feel very, I, this may be redundant. I'm just gonna leave it because it's the way my mind is working right now. The betrayal aspect, I, I think is by far the worst. Okay, so what am I doing to combat my physical symptoms? Physical symptoms of being dizzy, being nauseous. I've lost seven pounds since Tuesday because I haven't been able to eat since Tuesday. The thought of food makes me sick. Weight loss is a plus, but not like this. That's not safe either. Been it, 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 extremely thirsty. I'm having a hard time finding words, um, spacey like that. I, I couldn't find what I was, my term. Uh, walking has been difficult. I have this one help me with that when I need her to. Like I said, I'm staying on the bottom floor of my house. I've had stuff to take for vertigo from my ear surgery. It's left over. It's probably expired, but I don't know. Maybe I'll get a placebo effect. I've taken that. I've taken um, an anti-nausea medicine. Let's see, the medicine for the vertigo. I'm using the very high dose, like 20 to 1 CBD product to help with the body aches and pain. I've been taking a lot of ibuprofen and Tylenol. I'm having horrible, scary, terrible dreams. Very irritable. My moods are changing very quickly. My anxiety has been horrible. And I'm going to have to live, I guess, with the palpitations because I am allergic to the propranolol. I thought it was just the high dose propranolol but it seems like the low dose is not doing me any favors. My therapist called to check on me 
twice yesterday. My psychiatrist has not. And when you have a person that has a history of betrayal, a history of not caring, a history of being the one that didn't matter, especially in childhood, that hurts. The one person that I should be able to trust more than anyone, I'm not sure if I can again. We're supposed to talk sometime today, I don't know. Like I said, Rite Aid reached out to me because I tagged them in that first video. And, but I can't get any information. Say they want to talk to me and I'm, I'm thinking right now, it's just to counteract the tweets that I've put out, which is pretty sad. If they wanted to know, I gave them my, my pharmacy. I mean, it would be easy for them to find me there. You know, I'd like to say that I'm looking forward to eating again, but the truth is I'm not. The thought of food makes me just very, very nauseous. Now everything seems much more intense. I don't have anything in my yard that's overpowering as far as scents go, but the smell of being outside is, is making me sick, if that makes sense. Um, yesterday, the sense of smell was really, really, really strong. I have no idea what it was, but it was making me sick too. Uh, the sense of touch, my skin seems real sensitive. The CBD is helping with that. I have lots of friends and family praying and, and hoping and well wishes and that helps because they know what I've been through. They know the struggles and they're backing me up and they're as worried as I am. So if you're wondering how I'm sitting here calmly, I, I'm calm on the inside, on the outside. I think because it's CBD on the inside, I'm freaking out. Um, it's, it's just a weird feeling. It's like having ants under your skin is the only way I can describe it. That's the update from yesterday and today, and I guess we'll see more what happens. I sincerely hope that none of you have to ever endure anything like this. Hey, so I'm back in this ugly comfort of my bed, although it's very claustrophobic feeling, and it took a bit. Um, from my back door to my bedroom is maybe 25 feet, possibly. It took quite a bit of time having to nav. I know it sounds stupid, but in it, but I want you guys to know what this process is like. The vertigo, which I have not experienced in years, or the dizziness, has been scary because it takes me back to when I was having the problems with my ears. But trying to navigate just from my back door into my bedroom was difficult. My service dog was with me. She's nudging me along and she did prevent me from falling, which is really good. I need to pay bills, but I can't because I can't concentrate long enough to figure out what's going on. So yeah, you guys, root me on, cheer me on, stand behind me because my medical professionals certainly are not. This way I feel. Right now I think I feel well enough to upload this. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to try to get this uploaded and then I'll be vlogging in the next few days. Thanks guys. Any words of encouragement would be greatly appreciated.